So welcome to your new humidity control system. I'm going to show you a couple little tips of how to uh, use this system and show you around it in a nutshell uh, to make it easy. So here we go. On the right corner, you'll see indicator lamps. The right's for filters. The amber in the middle is for water. And the left is power. They're labeled underneath. The left one should always be on. The amber light blinks when it's thirsty. And the red one you'll pretty much never see. It's on now because the filters are new and dry. The system comes with this watering can and humidity control system treatment. So every time you use this, use about a drop or a couple drops and fill the system up to this red line with cold water, fill the water and add a couple drops of this liquid. All right, let's go underneath and I'll show you what's so happening. We're under the piano now. This unit here is the brain. It's by the, on the beam of the piano. It's a humidistat. It senses the humidity levels and then six sends a signal either to this humidifier tank or to the dehumidifier rods. Long one under the keys, short one under the tail. I just plugged it in less than a minute ago and they're already warm, indicating that they're working and getting the moisture out. There's the moisture cap here, prevents any water that's in the tank from spreading outward. And here's the fill tube, which comes right out of this clip. And when you're done filling it, it comes right back in. So here we go. Again, it's clipped in. And just slide it upward. And then when you're done, you bring it back in from the top. There is plenty of slack in the hose for you to take the hose out and do everything from the outside without coming under the piano at all. So we're going to show how we pull this out. And there's plenty of hose. I don't know if you can see that there. And in the tank, you plug it directly in to this hose right here. Once it's plugged in, you want to raise up the can. And the higher you raise the can, the faster the water goes in. drops on the floor, but that's it, not dripping anymore, I plugged it in a little deeper, so there, I guess, plug it in as far as that nozzle will go in. If the amber light is blinking, that means there's still water in there, but it's low enough that if you add to this red line, you don't have to worry about overfilling the tank. Now, important part here, if you don't want to mess on the floor, when it's done, lower the can back down, and any excess water in there will just back into the, to the tank. When it's done dripping, simply disconnect and then tuck away right under the bin into the little clamp. And it's almost invisible. Just the wire that plugs into the bin.